like getting ready to start the zap rack. I had something totally designed and almost ready to go up on the CNC machines and get cut. But after thinking for a little bit, with all these channels I have available, and the fact that I wanted to run a three-way set, I needed more channels on the mids and highs. Four just is not enough for a set of three ways. And two DC Audio 90.4s is too much for one set of three ways. So we got another set. Bam. Idea where I'm gonna put those in here no idea but I guess we'll have to figure that out when the time comes Set number two. So this new 90.4 looks a little different than my old 90.4. I had this thing for probably six or seven years. And this must be the newer one. Same exact amp, just a little bit of cosmetic changes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to order a matching one or just ride it out the way it is. We'll have to see. But for right now, i got to start designing this rack. Something like that. Make some modifications. Time to start cutting. Top shelf. So what I'll do is I'll put my welds back here so nobody sees the welds. And this inch and a half gives me a little spacing off the box so I can run wires behind it. All right, time to cut the next shelf. Time for the bottom and the middle shelf. So I was almost getting ready to end this video and move on to maybe some welding and some wiring. But after a long drive and thinking about the things that I want to do, I decided to add a couple things to it. I want to put a back plate on it so it's not just those little tabs coming through touching the box. I want to box it in, 
and I'll eventually probably put a cap over the top with some HDPE or something, but I also wanted to add a couple of holes so the wires could pass through and reach to the amps without having to go up over the top or anything like that. So here I'll we go. I'll cut the bottom piece, which is exactly the same shape as the top piece. And once that is out, I can put that top piece that I already cut back in, put my logo in it, put some pass-through holes in it, and it should line up exactly where it's supposed to be. So this thing's all kind of rigged up right now. This is where it's gonna go. I'm gonna have to pull this thing apart so I can put this other stuff on it, but this goes in the back. Let me see if I can do this without making it all fall apart. Should be kind of holding itself together right now. Maybe, we'll find out right now. Something like that right there. Now I can pop my wires through these holes that I'm about ready to cut. I can channel them through here and out to where they go. And it should look clean. And these tabs won't be the only thing touching the box. So yeah, we can put a little little cap over the top of this when we're all done. Nice clean cap. Right, so all I gotta do is pull all these amps and everything off of this rack. And take that plate back over to the laser and pop the holes that I wanted to put in it. With a little bit more planning, I probably could have done it in the beginning, but things don't always work out that way. As you can see, we got a place for the wires coming in and out, in and out. That way, we have very few that are sticking out and looking ugly. So, they'll run across there, right there. Of course, that's going to be closed in with that other piece that we just made. It might not look like a lot on the table. There's a lot of design going on here. A lot of laser in. A lot of thought. I just gotta bring it over there and start tacking it together. Okay, we're all set up. Did a couple practice wells to get my settings just right. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't weld every day, so still a good weld. Nice little one.
All right, so the bottom ones are welded all the way. Some of my welds are better than others. We're looking all right. I just stitched these top ones because they're not carrying a lot of weight. And I want to make sure my back piece fits without warping them, putting too much heat on them. Some of my welds were really nice. A couple of them I'm not so proud of, so I ground them all down. I like it like that anyways. No welds shown from the front. All the pass-through is ready to go. I guess this thing just needs to be cleaned really good and painted or powder coated. I'm thinking I might just clear over the top of it, but I'm not sure. One last thing before I start mounting these amps in and run wires. Let's see how it looks in the vehicle. That'll do it. Want to pop the amps in here just so we can get one more visual before yeah. we finish it up? Yep. Cool. Yep, just like that. All right, that looks good. I think that's it for now. We got places where we can run the wires straight through, down, behind, and out where it goes. I'm liking it so far. We'll pop a few holes, we'll tap them. That way the screws can be threaded in real nice. And it'll all be proper. The wires can come out, back behind, pop out where they're supposed to and I think we're looking good we're ready for some cleanup and some wires and that's it for now as you can see there's still tons of space for the seats lots of room nothing's in the way and with that till next time I'm out of here <laughs>